about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Thank you. You can be seated. And when you're seated, please state your full name and spell your last name for the record. Okay. My name is Dara Haas. My last name is Haas, H-A-S as in Sam, S as in Sam. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, good afternoon, Ms. Haas. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. Good. So, uh, how are you employed? Um, I work for Broward County Schools. Okay, and are you assigned to a specific school? Um, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. Okay, and where is Marjorie Stoneman Douglas? It's in Parkland. Okay, and how long have you worked at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas? Um, I started there in the fall of 2016, and I'm currently still there. 26 years? Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. 20, I, I started in 2016. Okay. Um, and I'm still there. Okay. Currently. And uh, were you in school or were you employed prior to 2016? Um, I was working at other schools within Broward County. Okay. How long have you been a teacher? Um, about 15 years, I believe. Okay. And what, what do you presently teach? English. I'd like to call your attention to February the 14th, 2018. What uh, were you teaching then? Yes. And what were you teaching? English. And uh, were you assigned to a particular classroom? Yes, I was in 1216. And 1216 is located where? In the 12 building on, at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. The 1200 building or the freshman building? Correct. Okay. And you were in 1216? Correct. And that was your, your classroom? Yes. How long prior to uh, February the 14th, uh, 2018, was that your classroom? Um, it had been my classroom um, the, that year and the previous year. Okay, so approximately two years? Correct. Okay. So I want to uh, call your attention to that date of February the 14th, 2018. Do you remember that day? Yes. What time did school start at Marjorie Stone, or did school start at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas back on February the 14th, 2018? 7.40. Okay, and what time did classes end? 2.40. All right, and fourth period, uh, were you teaching fourth period? Yes. And what classroom? And I was teaching fourth period in 12.16. Okay, and what, what time does your uh, last period start? Uh, I think it was 1.10, I'm okay. not sure. It's an hour and a half or 90 minute class? Yes, it's 90 minutes. Okay, mm -hmm. and is it a specific English? It's not <laughs> specific English class? Um, it would be um, English one okay. with the freshman. Okay, all right. So during fourth period, Ms. Haas, uh, tell us what happened. Um, so in the fourth period class, the students were working um, they were working quietly on their assignment, um, and we heard the pop, 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 the the sounds of the gunshots. Okay. Um, it happened quick, and um, I my first instinct was it was a drill, so I went and went to shut the blinds. Um, but the sound, it was so loud. I, I remember shaking um, and telling the students to, to go where they needed to go. It was a drill, and the students were screaming. Um, students were coming to my desk and screaming and, and shouting and um, coming over to any area they could. I turned around quickly, and that's when I saw um, that it was not a drill. Um, one, one of the students was injured. Um, it, um, he didn't have time to make it out of the, to make it out of his um, desk. Um, who, who was that, Ms. Hines? Um, that was Alex Schachter. Okay. He, he, he got injured um, very quickly. Um, it happened very fast in the classroom. Um, I. Quickly call. Um, I called 911, and as I called 911, um, I texted my husband, you know, to call 911 that this was, there was, this was an emergency. Um, the sounds were loud, and they were um, 
just a lot of them. Um, the room filled with smoke, it was hazy. The kids were doing their best they could to, to get to safety in a classroom that has nowhere to go. Um, it just, um, we just tried our best to follow the direction of the 911 that said to, you know, stay quiet and, um, and, 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 and to, to do our best, um, why help was on the way. Um, the, it, so, of course, we are listening to this testimony of a teacher who survived the Parkland school massacre, this penalty phase underway for convicted school shooter Nicholas Cruz. We're going to take a quick break, but you're not going to miss a thing. We're going to bring you back into court right where we're leaving off. So keep it right here on Court TV. And right now. Welcome back to Court TV Live. We continue our coverage of the penalty phase for the Parkland School shooter, uh, Nicholas Cruz, convicted of killing 17 people that deadly day in February of 2018. Uh, we've been hearing testimony from survivors right now. Dara Haas is on the stand. She was a Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School English teacher. She was in room 1216 at the time. So let's bring you back in right where we left off in court. It was hazy and you could smell the, the, the sulfur from the guns and debris was flying across the room and the students were crying and um, so many students had been injured um, and all of a sudden it, it was quiet. Um, there had been so many gunshots and so many sounds, whether it was sounds in the hallway or shooting in, in the room. I didn't know, um, and then all of a sudden it was quiet. Um, we heard a little yelling in the hall, and there was punching at the window on my door where um, it had shattered, but it didn't break. And um, terrified, I remember staring at, at, at the door and the punching, and when the arm came in, it was, I saw the emblem of the police and I knew that they had come in and the team came in and they took um, the students out. Um, but it was hard for me to leave because I wanted to stay with the students that couldn't go and the police officer told me to quickly get out and that he would help the students that were still there that had been very injured. It was Elena Petty. Uh, Who? I'm sorry. Elena Petty. Elena Petty. Where was Elena? Um, she was by my desk. Okay. Um, How about Alyssa Alphadeck? Um, she was on, on the floor okay. in the classroom, and um, the police officer quickly helped me out of the classroom, um, out of the building, um, and an officer assisted me to the sidewalk where I was met by... William Olson, who was covered in in blood, and I asked him if he was injured, if it was his blood, and he was in shock and didn't know, and he thought he was injured. We took him to the EMT, but as soon as I got there with him, um, um, I, I prepared to stay with him, but Samantha Fuentes um, she wasn't my, in your class, was she? She was not in my class, but she had gotten my attention um, because she was so injured that she needed um, assistance as well. And I got her to the EMTs um, and helped other students. And the police then escorted me to the Holmberg okay. corner. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, you mentioned Alex Schachter. Uh, you saw him shot. And Elena Petty and Alyssa Alphadev. How about... Uh, Keshava Magapuram, was he in your class? Yes, he was. He was, um, I remember Keshava. He was in front of my desk, and I still remember his, his face because he was injured as well. Um, and, um, and he was in there with, um, there was Justin Colton. Um, there was Justin, Keshava, Genesis. I know William. Genesis had, Valentin? Is her, that a, yes. Okay. She had been injured. Did you mention William Olson? William Olson, yes. 
Um, and also Alex Dorrit. Dorrit, okay. Had been injured as well in the okay. classroom. All right, so when the, did you see the shots first come in your, your uh, window? No, it happened so fast. Okay. Uh, there was debris flying over, whether it was okay. the shots or that, I'm not sure. Okay. Did there come a time where more shots came in after a short time afterwards? Yes. Do you know how much time between the first set of shots and the second set? I don't. It, it just all seemed to happen so quick. Okay. Okay. Let me show you. Uh, you know, I've showed this photograph. Good times. No. Okay. Uh, let me show you uh, space exhibit March two uh, Y for identification. Do you recognize that that person? Yes, it's Alex Schachter. Okay, it's Alex Schachter, and I want to show you two uh, Z. Alyssa Aladoff. And 3A. Alina Petty. Okay, Your Honor. Yeah, I know for these. Is there any objection? No. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The state's 2Y for identification will be received as state's 32. States 2Z for identification will be received as states 33. And states 3A will be received as states 34. Okay. Any, do you have any questions? Yeah. Have this witness? Okay, thank you, ma'am. You're excused.